Not a whole lot going on today, but we've still got mods to talk about. What's going on everybody? DJ Gohab here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to new mods. Today, I have one new mod for console or all platforms. I have two new mods for PC and one PC update. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Kvernland Front Cultivator. This guy right here is going to need 80 horsepower to run, and it is 4 meters, so not quite that magic number of 3, but just a little bit north of that. Let's check it out in the store. Where are you going to find this? Well, this is going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in cultivators. And here it is. Boom. 9 mile per hour speed, no customization, so there's nothing that you could do with this. But what would it be that we would use this with. So of course we would use this with, well, four meter planters and cedars. So do we have anything that's like that? Well, yes. So we have the coon right here, but unfortunately that doesn't have seed. So it requires a front tank. We have the Stara uh, Saros Master 3570. This is right here. This is 3.7 meters. And then we go up to six meters. So really not a whole lot going on there. And then you go in here and you've got the Gavernalin Optima V, but this is four and a half meters. So it's a little bit more. So you're actually going to be going down through there and you're going to be deleting crop. So past that, there's really not a whole lot going on. We do have another, uh, we have a modded version of the Optima V, but there's nothing in game that is four meters. So, yep. Oh, oh, I'm picking it up. No, nope. <laughs> put it down. So anyway, just keep that in mind. Nonetheless, there you go. And it's 8,200 bucks. Moving on to Mac and PC mods. This is the Weavong Discator 12M. This guy right here requires 380 horsepower. This is a really, really big disc arrow. Let's check it out in the store where you can find it. Well, tools, disc arrows, and I would say you're probably going to have to go a little more than halfway down, maybe a little bit more than that. Also, this might be one of the largest ones that we have. We don't have a lot of very big disc arrows. So this guy right here goes tw or has 12 meters, 11 miles per hour, 380 horsepower required. It's going to cost you $4,300 to lease and $84,000 to purchase. Again, no customization options on this. Does what it's supposed to do, unfolds. It is a disc arrow. Next up, we have the Vicini Tetra. This is our last new mod today. Let's pop in. Where are you going to find this one? This one is going to be found in tools, is going to be found in trailers, and if you've got a mouse that will just fly, you're going to need it because it is near the end. Right here it is, $50,000. Let's click on it and check it out. So main color, we could change that up from blue to a red, of course black, a heavenly Vicini. <laughs> we've also got the Vicini green, and we've got yellow as well. I like the blue, so we're going to stick with blue. Rim color, it's gray. We've also got white, and we have black. Thank goodness we've got black. I like the black wheels. And design color, of course, we have white, we have green, black, and red. So you can change that up, but you cannot change it to blue. Just keep that in mind. Will brand, we have Trelleborg, and we have Michelin tire, so whichever ones you like there. And design, we've got design one, which are going to be the stickers around the outside. We've got design two, which kind of changes the color to everything being blue. And then we have the Vicini logos. I will say this, I don't think any of these lo logos look nice on this uh, this trailer. I feel like they were just kind of, I don't know, they just don't match very well. It's something weird about it. It's just, Maybe it's just me. Uh, don't let me sway your opinion on this trailer at all, but it has something, something off about the stickers. Also, Speaking of stuff being off, so online it says the price is $70,000 and the capacity 60,000 liters. That's all wrong. <laughs> that is all wrong. It holds 65,000 liters and it's $50,000. So not only is it cheaper, but it holds more than it says it does. So just keep that in mind as well. I have tested it. Feels straight up to the top, 65,000 liters. So that is kind of cool. And lastly, today we have the Chavez Sniper Update Changelog 1.0.0.1 Worker Corrected. So if you guys were using this on PC, you were having trouble with the worker. Now, you will have no more trouble with the worker. 
Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I know it's not a whole lot of mods, but at least we're still getting brand new content every single day, and that's something that not a lot of games out there can say. So thank you to uh, Giants for that, and thank you to the testing team for that as well. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. If you've not already, get subscribed to the channel, turn that notification bell on, join the Go Ham fam, and get notified anytime we do anything here on the channel. This weekend, we will have some fun stuff, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!